Did you know in Spider-Man 3? Eddie Brock was actually made as a mixture of different versions of the character from comics. There's the obsessive journalist version from The Amazing Spider-Man, and there's also the skinny version that has a crush on Gwen, which is from Ultimate Spider-Man. This was done to show a much closer connection to Peter Parker. And this way, Peter can be seen acting as Eddie after being affected by the symbiotes. Did you know in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Bobat and students were dancing the Macarena at the beginning of the third task. In the movie, the Bobat and students first appear doing an incredibly elegant dance, their beauty and grace instantly making them a hit with all of the Hogwarts students watching inside the Great Hall. Later on in the film, they perform a cheerleading routine for Fleur Delacour, which is less elegant. This might seem like a normal dance, but if you watch carefully, you'll notice that they're performing a version of the popular party dance, the Macarena. Did you know an Alien Covenant? The scene where David teaches Walter how to play the flute has been criticized for its homoerotic tones, but Ridley took it even further by having the two characters kiss. When he was asked about his choice for adding that scene, he stated that it was directly inspired by Demi and Patrick's characters in Ghost. Did you know in Watchmen? All of the US flags in the film have 51 stars. In the real world, the flag of the USA consists of 50 stars, representing the 50 states, and there are 13 stripes representing the 13 original colonies. But in the film's alternate history, Vietnam became the 51st state after America won the Vietnam War thanks to Dr. Manhattan and the comedian's involvement. As a result, the flag in the movie got one more star compared to the real one. But did you know in Jackass Forever, even though Bam Margera was still fired, he's still present for three different stunts. He can be seen during the marching band skit. He was also present for the Silence of the Lambs bit. But they ended up not using scenes that he was in, though his left arm can still be seen in the triple wedgie bit. Did you know in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Elizabeth Olsen tried to keep her character true to the moment. While filming WandaVision, Elizabeth didn't look at the script for this film because she wanted her character to be living in the moment instead of reacting to a future story. After finishing up filming for WandaVision, Elizabeth flew to London two days later to start filming this film. In terms of Wanda's timeline, this is a direct continuation for her. Did you know in WandaVision, Agatha was originally going to have more of a mentor role to Wanda, like her character does in the actual comics. There was even going to be a point where the two of them walk off into the sunset at the end of the show. Jack Schaefer eventually realized that having Agatha as a main antagonist actually fit the feel and pacing of the show better, and they stuck with that idea instead. Did you know in Freaky, there are multiple references made towards other horror franchises? At the football game, Booker's last name can be seen as Strode, which is an obvious nod towards Laurie Strode, who's the protagonist from Halloween. The Butcher's Mask is a hockey mask, and that can be tied to the Friday franchise where Jason wears a hockey mask. Later, he wears a full Aaron Rodgers mask, which resembles the Shapes mask from Halloween. 